furniture alone. Senator John Thune joins us. Good evening, Grant. Wow. <laughs> hundred million. The hits just keep coming from the IRS, don't they? And, and apparently they, and they've also come up to Capitol Hill asking for more money because they say that they can't afford to run the IRS. Right. I mean, it is it just is outrageous when you look at the, the, the targeting of conservative groups. Um, you look at the bonuses paid to people working at the IRS who are delinquent on their own taxes. The agency that we charge with collecting the American people's taxes, these guys aren't paying their taxes, and then they're getting these these bonuses, performance bonuses on top of that. I mean, it is it is gross mismanagement, and and of course there's also a political agenda there, as, uh, you know, which we saw when they were doing the targeting of the political, the conservative groups. Well, I should add that they have a relatively new commissioner. I don't want to lay this all at his feet, but they gave us a statement tonight, and they're saying they're still trying to assess these numbers used in the report that gave rise to it. They said that they're using an aggressive effort to consolidate our office space and reduce our overhead rent costs. And they also said some of the equipment is more than 20 years old. But I, actually, I read this, the whole statement, which I'll put on Gretaware, is pathetic at best. Well, but $100 million, really, I, I know, like, for office furniture? I know, it's insane. It's and, insane. And a $1.2 billion, uh, you know, request this year, increase in funding from yeah, the well, Congress. Almost 8%, of, almost 8 percent more. In light of all these, these problems and all this mismanagement, I mean, it's just it takes an incredible amount of pucks to come up and, and, and do this. How, how come in the Republicans, Democrats, uh, independents, anything, even Bernie Sanders, why isn't everyone just like, you know, screaming about this? And why aren't the people at home screaming about it to their members of Congress? I think that at least in, in, is the case with the, uh, the current administration. Uh, they're trying to defend their own. Uh, people obviously, but I think the American people are out outraged. But this isn't really it. new. I mean, the, I mean, a lot of the stuff, the targeting is new under this administration. But the, all the problems of the IRS, they've been building for years. Well, that may be true, but I think it's an example too. The other thing that uh, the, the story that you referenced earlier, ninety thousand employees. Does it really take ninety thousand employees in a twelve and a half billion dollar you know budget? to collect the American people's taxes. I mean, this is a government, a bureaucracy that's gotten way too big and has so, run amok. So what can you do? Because there isn't a single American out there who wants $100 million, at least I don't think, spent on furniture that doesn't need to be spent. I don't think they want people to be getting bonuses when they work there and they owe back taxes. I mean, at least we could use the bonuses. We could hold their bonuses and apply it to their back taxes. Right. I mean, I mean, why isn't something being done? Well, and you didn't mention the uh, the, the, the travel, the trips, you know, with all oh. the exotic uh, and things. The and the targeting. And then... So, you know, all those things, I think, point to just a uh, systemic problem with the agency. Now, right, they've got a new commissioner. Uh, he is, at least says he's trying to clean things up. But, uh, you know, the American people need to have some accountability. We filed some bills. I've, I've filed a bill along with Mike Enzi and Pat Roberts that would prevent the IRS from paying bonuses to people who are delinquent on their taxes. But that it's going like to be much issue. bigger than that, much bigger than that. I mean, if you're late five days on your taxes, they're all over like a wetsuit, oh, and you're paying taxes, you're being penalty and everything else. I mean, there's got to be something much more aggressive than just a bill here and there to, to, uh, to solve a problem. This is a bigger problem. Well, and I think the best way to probably get at it is, you know, through the, the appropriations process, and that's the oversight that Congress has. They have to come and request funding every year, and they ask this for, for this $1.2 billion yeah, but, increase, 7% increase over the previous year in light of all these problems. And that's the way I think Congress can really get a hold of this situation. Except I'm going to take the last one, but oversight, they've already spent the $100 million. That's after sight. Right. That's not oversight. I want, you know, we oversight it prevents any of that from any happening, but I'm taking the last word on it. <laughs> okay. Senator, thank Fair you. Fair enough. All right.